Okay, so, so tell me what's going on here today. Okay, so tonight, about 200 children that are in Sam Ministries' various programs are going to have a great shopping experience in order for them to pick up some initial school clothes and also some school supplies. So each child gets, uh, if they're uniforms, they get two uniforms. If they need regular clothes, then they get two sets of regular clothes. They also get a new pair of shoes and then they get uh, a backpack full of school supplies. So, And the good part about it is that each child has the opportunity to, to choose their stuff. Right, it's not just just whatever comes out. Right? Exactly, That's exactly. So That's so neat. How long have you guys been doing this? So uh, I think this is the fourth year of, of this, and we have volunteers that are amazing. Uh, in fact, we we're about 50 volunteers that worked on this project. You know, they did all the sorting. Uh, a lot of people individually donated, so they they don't consider themselves volunteers. But about 50 people helped sort out the stuff out, get it all set up, arranged. They have a system down now. It's it's like I mean, it's like awesome. And and how many how many kids are going to be coming through here today? 200. It should be 200 tonight. Yes. There's about 100 uh, in this program here in this actual facility. Where you are is what we call Sam Industries Transitional Living and Learning Center. And 40 families get the opportunity to stay here, work themselves out of self, uh, themselves back to self-sufficiency in a two-year period of time. And so then the other children, we have a 25 houses that are scattered throughout the city, so they'll be able to come tonight as well. Tell me something. When when I saw the the release for this, the news release for this, it said that you're launching your campaign to end child homelessness in San Antonio, which right. which seems so such a noble but pretty tall order. It is a tall order, and so we're going to get started on it. Uh, you'll see uh, some billboards uh, emphasizing that this fall in in our fall campaign, and you know. The, the reason we're doing this is because homelessness is even more difficult for children. So homeless children, they fall behind in school. I mean, what is the one break? What is the one thing that we do have to, to break the, the uh, cycle of poverty? And it's usually education. That's what broke it for me. And so if they fall behind in school, then they even lose that lever. Uh, homeless children typically don't have enough food, uh, or they don't get enough nutrition, uh, nutritious food. And then uh, homeless children also unfortunately uh, get sick. Uh, some of them develop mental illness uh, issues. So it's a multi-level issue for them. So, so what what things are you going to, to do or do more of that you've been doing that, that can go toward really bringing down those numbers? So uh, raise money to be able to, again, apply even more uh, opportunities for homeless children. So, I mean, part of what we do is we focus on the education of the children. So we have specific programs that work along with the school districts, you know, to track their grades, to track their performance issues, uh, you know, to make sure that they're staying up, up to par so that uh, they will graduate. And I'll give you an, ex an example. The graduation rate for homeless children is something like 32%. The graduation rate for the kids in our program this past year, 92%. And that makes that makes all the difference. And about 70% of them went on to secondary education, post-secondary education. And that's exactly the way to break that cycle of poverty, That is right? it. That's right. the main thing, the main way that any of us have to break poverty is to get an education. Absolutely. I know that the, the statistics are that, that a, a child born in, born in a zip code of poverty has a 20 to 1, odds are 20 to 1 against them to get out of that poverty. Right. But when they're born with no zip code or they're living in no zip code, right? I yeah. mean, homeless kids, Hom that's right. the if odds are even higher. The odds are even higher. Yeah. And I mean, 20 to 1, yeah, that's that, that would be me. I was one of those kids that was born in that kind of a neighborhood. And folks just helped me. They, they realized I could, I could study and, and work hard. And uh, that's how I, I, I was able to get out of poverty. So that's why I'm here at, at Sam Ministries. After you know being in business for many, many years, this uh, was, I call, it was called me because they focus on education, not just under the adults, but in particular of the children. That's terrific. That's terrific. Wow. Thank you. Oh, my pleasure. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you. And got a new backpack. Go ahead. And new water bottle. Right. And new shoes. They're in your backpack. That's pretty mm -hmm. awesome. Did you pick them out? Yeah. Yeah. I got two pockets. Two pockets. Mm -hmm. There you go. There's one right. Brand new backpack and it's all yours. And I got pencils. 
and crayons. And I got um, colors and a coloring book. And I got a watch. Pretty awesome. And you got to use the camera. Pretty good day, huh? Good day. Okay.